What's going on everybody? This is Ian Robinson and welcome back to another Getting Started series. In this video, we're going to be covering asset directory and the changes that occur inside of 2026.1. So the first thing you might notice at the light box is actually here on the top left hand side, there are two different menu items. There's a max on one and a user one. If you look at the max on menu, you might notice that there's no real changes that is happening. We still have our main projects. We still have our main brushes. We also have our quick saves, everything like that. If we come up here to the new user menu, you might notice at first it might look a little blank. And that is because this is now where you can save all your custom settings, projects, tools, quick saves, render sets, etc. So how do we access this? Well, we can go ahead and close the light box by hitting the comma key, coming up here to preferences, and you'll notice an asset directory. If we open this up, we're going to get three different buttons, open directory, change location, and reset to default. If we go ahead and open up the directory, it's going to open up the folder and it's going to show you everything that's inside of it. And this is where we can now save all of our different custom settings, brushes, quick saves, etc. Now, something to note is that you can actually change the location of where this is to save hard drive space or to put it on a hard drive that you work off exclusively. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go back into preferences and say change location. Now what we can do is you'll notice I already have one that was pre-made, but you can go into a hard drive that might have more space. Go ahead and right click, let's say new and new folder. And we'll call this Ian ZBrush. Go ahead and hit enter. And now we're gonna say select folder. By doing this, it's gonna prompt you to restart ZBrush. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that ZBrush is restarted, let's go ahead and close down that menu and let's just open up a project. Let's go back to preferences asset directory and open directory. And now you'll notice here that it's taking me to a different location. It's taking me to my data folder and my new ENZ brush settings. And from here, it's gonna go ahead and create these new folders where you can put everything. Just a quick side note, if you had pre-installed brushes or plugins, ZBrush is not going to move those over because it's creating new folders for that location. And the reason for this is that you can have multiple setting locations. This means that anybody can access their own folder and put in their own plugins, their own brushes, etc., and everything will stay the same and consistent for them. Now, if we want to install some, let's say, new brushes or we want to install some plugins, let's go ahead and install a few plugins. So let's go to Z Startup. Let's scroll on down to Z Plugins, just like we would before. Let's go ahead and copy over a couple plugins that I normally keep in a different location. And let's go ahead and paste that. And now these are pasted directly inside of my actual startup. I'm also going to install a couple brushes. So let's go to the light box this time. And now this is where you're going to install your custom brushes, documents, light caps, materials, or anything else that fits within this area. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy over some of the brushes that I absolutely use all the time. You can also too folder your brushes. So let's say I'm using Henry Shivanka's brushes. I can go ahead and throw that in here making it a lot easier to find my brushes and to keep them organized as much as possible. Now that I've installed some brushes and some plugins, let's go ahead and restart ZBrush once more. Now that ZBrush is restarted, I'll open a project one more time. And one of the things we're gonna check is for where our Z plugins are. Now again, if I open up a Z plugin, this is normally where all those plugins would be in. But what we might notice is a small change at the very bottom is now where you're gonna see your custom plugins. So before it's preloading all of the ones that ships with ZBrush, and then it will go ahead and access the ones that you're installed to that folder. And then if we open up the light box by hitting the comma key, going to my user settings, and this time going into my brushes, you might notice here that not only did I have the brushes that I brought in, but also I was able to folder them, making it very easy and organized to find. And of course too, just a small note is that your quick save location will absolutely go with your asset directory location. So if I come here and open up the directory, you'll notice I have two quick saves inside of ZBrush. And if I go into the quick save folder, you'll notice I have those two quick saves as well, making it very easy to stay organized and to find your quick saves. This will also be very helpful if you need to delete your quick saves to free up any type of hard drive space. So of course we can always reset this back to factory default. So if we go to preferences, go to reset to default and click this one time, it's gonna go ahead and ask if you would like to reset your directory to its original default path. You can go ahead and say yes. And in doing so, it's going to prompt you to restart ZBrush once more. Now that ZBrush has been restarted, let's go ahead and just open a project, come up here to preferences, 
asset directory, open directory, and notice that now it set me back to the very beginning where everything was installed by default. That's going to go ahead and cover for this video, and we'll catch you in the next.